Well, good day, tubes. Welcome back to our next oil change and the oil change series of videos here. This is going to be the zero turn mower today. Uh, we've got to put the battery in, and uh, I think it's got some gas, and I usually fill things up kind of thing before. Yeah, that's right up there, so that's good. So, boy, it needs a good wash, doesn't it? We used her a bit last year. We've got, uh, well, I can't tell how many hours yet until we get the battery in. So, um, it looks like I need to get some air power going down in the little box here. It's pretty grind up, I guess, the grass is. There's lots of big holes in it, right? So, it uh, kind of comes and goes wherever it wants, but you can see there's a bit of grass and debris and stuff in there. We'll see if we can get that out. Um, so, let's get some air going. We'll give her maybe a quick little psh, psh going over and uh, motor two and stuff. And then we'll uh, get her battery hooked into her, see if she'll fire up, let her warm up for a bit. All right, I'm not sure if i got enough air left in this compressor here, but uh, I'll start with that. This is for where you keep your lunch, and uh, it's got some junk in it. Big holes everywhere, where wires come through and stuff, so There's definitely no water in it. <laughs> so let's. This is right. Well, I'll have to charge that thing back up. And uh, it's going to take a minute to do that. So I guess we'll get the battery. I got her all freshly charged. It was sitting on the battery tender all winter. So. Should be good, hopefully, good. Good. Ugh. And that can go there, that can go there. So I gotta go this way again. Watch your fingers. Alright. Uh, let's just make sure you guys are good there. I guess you're pretty good there. We'll hook this battery up. Here. It's a nicer day out today, so there's piles of motorcycle load, but it's not nice enough for me. <laughs> I don't like shivering and freezing and stuff when I'm riding motorcycles or whatever that's not covered by doors, windows, and... Oh, you stupid. This, this guy is not working too good lately. Yep, it's still messing up. That's good there. Alright, we'll hook up Mr. Negativity. And then... See if she'll run. Fire it up. But just before we do that, I want to check. There's no battery tie down on that. It's kind of weird. I want to check the air filter back here first. All right, let's check this filter out. Now, I don't have another one, so it's going to have to be the way it's going to have to be, but if there's a lot of debris in there, we'll blow that all out, too. Oh, not too bad, I think. 
Now this mower was bought at the Home Depot and I can probably get another one at the Home Depot, but the Home Depot is now close and curbside pickup only, so. Um, not too bad in there. I'll put this outside and give her a blow. And uh, I don't think it's that bad really. No, it wasn't too bad. It's not perfectly clean and white, but it'll do. It'll do until we can get one. All right. So we'll just give the level of oil a quick check here and uh, see how it's looking. Oh, it's bang on perfect, that's for sure. All right, we'll get the door open here and we'll give her a fire up. Let's see if she'll start. Okay, I've got the seat switch disabled right now. Bad thing to do. Don't do that. Very bad. Um, so, we have currently on this 92 hours even. There you go. That's not bad. Put that right up. Fire it up. Oh. Brake's got to be on. Or not. some vacuum pressure to get the fuel to suck back through. like that to start full throttle. I don't like that. That's an engine that sat there without any lubrication pumped around for a while, so not my favorite thing to do. So as soon as it starts, I usually try to turn it down a little bit. So anyways, I'll let that run, get it nice and warm, make sure the filter's warm, and uh, maybe I'll even get it out and take it for a little drive around here. Well, there we go. She's good and warm. I took her for a ride around, fired up the mower deck. Seemed to be all good. Um, check the blades. I'm not going to sharpen them right now. They're not too bad yet, so I'll cut for a bit in the spring here uh, with those blades on. But uh, we got to get our drain pan. And this is a toolless thing, which is nice if you remember from last year. Pull this guy off in a little tube, which I kind of wish, like I say, it was longer. You could go out here with it, but it's going to be all over the tire. So I usually went out the back with it here. But I think I remember I had something weighting that down just to hold it like a rock or something. Because you know, I got lots of rocks around my backyard for this general purpose. <laughs> so this guy here will pull the little cap off. Set her down and should start flowing out. I'll stick that rock there to hold it for us. Sweet. That oil isn't really that bad yet, but I mean it's dark. Yeah, maybe it's due. Once a year, anyways. <laughs> so, anyways, we'll uh, get our filter ready for this. Um, to change here. I'm going to let it drain out a whole lot first and I don't think a whole lot will come out of the filter but um, it's, uh, it's a messy situation on the filter and this. I really don't like them the way they've got them set here but I mean it's a, basically a generic engine on a different machine right? So but anyways we'll get her set here. Alright so that is our little filter. So cute. But I could probably get away with using one of my other ones anyways. Uh, the John Deere bigger ones. I don't have any with me here right now, but it might be a bit easier to get in that other because it's it would take the, it's got lots of room, so I mean that would work that way. 
So let's get a little sheet of this stuff. We'll paste it on there so we put our hours on here. Filter manufacturers need to come out with somewhere you could just write your stuff on it. Now you'd be thinking, oh no, I don't have a marker out here. Then we'll get a marker. Okay, so I'm going to write on here, I think, 92 hours. Uh, 92 hours. Doesn't seem to be wanting to... Hmm. I might have touched that with greasy fingers. So that's not so good. It doesn't uh, want to mark on there. So let's try that again. I didn't touch the top. Ninety two hours. April. One eight. And I think we need to put back in roughly one point six liters of liquid stuff. Um better hmm. Better wait, maybe. I don't know if I can... Well, I... Mm. <laughs> uh, what to do? What to do? Let's smush, whoop. Let's smush this down. Oh, I just wrecked it. Man, I don't have much luck today. I thought that would have been dry by now. Well, I can still read that. 92H. Stupid stuff. Stupid <laughs> markers are way too liquidy. Um, anyway, so we're just going to let this drool out here a minute, and then we got to go fight this other oil filter off. Oh, I'm not looking forward to that. It's so messy. Oh. Okay, looking straight down, I'm going to put in a couple of towels here, and hopefully most of it will get caught and sucked up into that. Because it is uh, such a messy place for a filter. And right below this is some belts that you wouldn't want to get stuff on. Oily stuff. So not a very good setup. There's going to be a lot of oil come out of here. Fortunately. Like a lot of oil. Like you think it was bleeding. What a terrible spot. Get more towels, hang on. Soak up more oil. It's on those belts. What a terrible idea putting it there. Who tunked to that? Kawasaki or whoever makes this engine. We bring some scrap iron. Okay, we've got some of it. Just gonna throw that right outside. Oil change it burns up about 15 towels at least. Wish they had a little extension out and then back here it'd be perfect, but it might get too hot back there. Okay, hopefully. I'm just gonna grab my light. I'm gonna look down there and make sure we didn't get anything on those belts. Looking fairly good. Down below, I don't think we got anything through, which is good. But, uh, I mean, there's like a little dent there. But the oil doesn't go there. There's a little dent that they've pounded into the, the cover the frame thing here. And it's, it's, I don't know, it doesn't work. It doesn't hold all that. So maybe a bigger filter wouldn't be good. Oh, we did get a little bit on the pulley, but that should be all right. Yeah, 
Now there's a pulley right here and it runs one of the hydraulics for back there. So bad spot, bad, bad, bad spot. All right, while that's continuing to dribble there, I will try to get to these grease fittings under here. There's one, where is it now, right there. I don't make this part very easily either for a single, single handed person. So, under here. That's water. Wait, it's hard to see. See that too. But four squirts will do that. Get on her, bud. There, and then we got to move over to the middle. We got to pull off the uh, cover out the front here. Footrest cover. Okay, so that's already loose. Let's pull this thing up and out. And that gets you access to your deck. Jeez, that's a decent heavy plate. They, uh, they actually made that really hard. Like a really thick, tough plate. Which is good. Okay, so we should have grease fitting here. And there should be another one. Really fun part to spot to get to. I'll do that. One for this little tensioner here, which is really tough under here. That only needs a couple because it doesn't really hold much. That's for your belt tension. And then now, I'll move you guys over and I'll swing over to the other side here. And this spindle has one uh, right there. It's kind of buried as well. I think we got her. No, I missed her. I'm going to have to pull it out probably to do this one. Because I can't... Uh, can't get it in the right spot there. I missed all of that. Yeah, okay, unless they come from the other way here, but I think we'll pull it out after and do that. Okay, so what the manual says is, hang on a sec, let me pull it up here again, is 1.6 liters. 1.6 would be about where that black line is. I really don't like Pouring in dirty oil into here just to measure and see what it is, but I'm gonna maybe try that today. Um, so let's grab the grab the thing here. Just give me a sec. Not very much. Remind you to. Uh, yeah. There was a bit in that filter too, so I'll have to. Fill the filter back up and then top whatever up roughly what's in there is a bit on this container too. So, I mean, this isn't going to get you a really good, super accurate measurement, but uh, yeah, we're a liter and a half, so I'd probably say 1.6 by the time we fill the filter. There's one five right where my finger is, so 1.6 there. Once we fill the filter up, I think we'll do that. So, um, now these are full. They're not quite a full liter, so 946 milliliters. One liter is actually a thousand milliliters, so I mean, really, you can't put another little bit in there to make it perfect. No. Nope. So, anyways, we'll uh, put one and pretty much two of these, really. So uh, let's get um, we got the, the hose back on. We can we can fill it back up now. All right, we'll start by. Popping up the filter a little. Mm, no. <laughs> well, no. This one I'm not going to. Just because it's a real pain to put in there. So that's right. I remember that. We don't generally do that with this this one. Um, 
because of the uh, pain in the butt of trying to screw it in there while it's going. Well, I guess we could put a bit in. What, what the heck? A little bit in there, let that soak in a little bit, and then I'll dump out whatever's not wanting to stay in there, which is probably going to be a fair bit of that. All right, not too bad. Well, let's go over and we can fill this up anyways for now and then put that filter on after she's soaked in a bit. All right, we'll put the first one in through here anyways. Should be all good to go. And this is a kind of a necked down little fill-in spout here, so I don't want to juice her too fast or she might not. Uh, she'll uh, over on us here. Don't want oil all over the place. So far we've been doing pretty good. Hopefully that's not coming out there. No, but I think I'm gonna screw that filter on. Okay, going in, filter. That'll do. That'll do. All right. Well, let's put the rest of this one in. Nice clean stuff anyways. I think that other stuff I probably could have gone a little longer, but it has sat in here for all winter. So it's probably a good idea to get that changed over. That'll be, well, 9.46 in this one. What a silly thing. They seem to be, that's more like a, a pint. This one here, right? So, put most of this in. Well, 1.6 would be, well, there's half, so a little bit about, nah, around there somewhere. Then we got to think it's not a full liter too, right? Makes it a lot harder for us. Everything's measured by that pint, right? Even though they say, oh, it's a liter. Well, it's not a liter. <laughs> the odd time you can buy a jug of oil here, like a bigger jug that's actually a five liter jug. It makes it a little more easier for us. getting pretty close. I'm going to fire it up here and um, let her soiculate for a minute. Okay, fire it up. Let's fire it up. Oh, what did I do wrong? Okay, that's good. I'll let her sit a moment and I'll uh, check our level. Let's see how we're looking. Let's pull it out here, clean it up. Check your level, see how she's looking. Okay. We'll just give her a moment. Alright, let's give her a little check here. Everything's clean. Very narrow spot to be. Uh, Cross hatches there, it's kind of hard to show you, that's too bright in there. Very narrow spot for to be bang on there. Just down at the add mark, so a little bit more here. Another, whoa, what are we at here? 500 mil, so we'll add another 100 maybe. Try that, we'll try that. Mm, come up a little bit, but not much. 
meal is just a little bit more and then we'll let her sit a minute. Just a hair. All right. We'll let that sit a minute and then we'll check her again. All right, a few minutes later. A few minutes later. That's when you do screw it back in. And we're about halfway there now, so we're getting close. Probably gonna be most of this up another 100 mil anyway, we've got 400 left. That should do her. I'll let her sit again for a few minutes. Gotta get down there and settle out, right? And it uh, takes a minute or two. And nothing else I gotta really do on this thing. Uh, I hope, anyway, I think everything's still be fine. Should be fine. See a little bit of oily stuff kind of down, sort of where the this tube fits into the motor there. They never have really sealed up very good, so. Oh well, we do. All right, now I think we might have her. We are bang right on. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Okay, there we go. Well, we'll pull her outside here, and uh, I gotta grease that one other guy there. Makes it interesting when you got no top plate on there. <laughs> okay, so we should be good to go there. I'm gonna move these over a little bit. And it's hard to see these grease fittings, I just gotta kind of feel for them, but ooh geez. I'm gonna have to get right down for this one, I think though. Oh I see it. <laughs> Too sure why you didn't want to take that grease. There we go. That's all she needed. All right, everything else should be good. Well, oh, geez, long way up. Check the operation of this thing. It seems to be all right. As far as I know, there's nowhere else to grease on this thing, or nowhere you can actually get to. Um, and that should be it. We'll put that cover back on here, I guess. And there is a. There's a bolt for that. And there's a little, a little pin here that you set your depth with. You actually use that. It's got a little screw thing for there. Hello, hello, jug. So, get that in the right spot. That just goes down. Too hard because it's just one of those little bent folded over nut things. So I'm gonna put that about there. Up this one. About three and a half inch or so. And that is it. We are good. Alright, that's it for today. Um, the next one will probably be the 9 in uh, for equipment wise. I do have to do my truck and her car. I don't know if I have enough oil for the car though. I got, I think, a full jug here for, for it. It's a, yeah, it's a zero W twenty. So I might have enough. Now we gotta fight with that stupid filter. <laughs> I hate that filter too. <laughs> oh, what a terrible design that was too. Anyways, so I gotta look and see how much oil that Toyota takes. I can't remember. Let me look, look that up. So it's saying here for the Corolla that it is with filter, a one point eight liter engine uh, 4.2 liters so that should be good because this one is actually a, hello a 5 liter so that's good 
So we got a full jug of that, so that's good. And uh, then the tractor, I don't think I got oil for that, unless I use my 10W30 diesel oil, but I don't know if I want to do that. Let me look them specs up. So researching here, um, I'll give you the grade that they recommend first. Uh, many use 10W30, 1540, or even 2050. Some uh, like the newer diesel rated oil because of the additives for the flat tappets and highly recommend Shell Rotella. 2400, wait a minute, Shell Rotella T1540. Well, this is uh, Shell Rotella. This is for the truck here. It's a 1030 diesel oil, so maybe I'll use some of that. It's a 1030. If, uh, kind of concerned a little bit about the oil pressure. They say uh, if you want a little bit better oil pressure, go a little higher oil. That's not really solving anything, though. <laughs> but if you went with a, a 1540, maybe. 1540. I got some of that, I think. I don't know. I can't remember now. Um, and, uh, yeah, so maybe, I don't know. We'll maybe do the... I might do the 1030 to give it a bit of a washout for maybe six months or so, run around a bit, and then let it flush itself kind of around, and then change it to maybe a 1540 or something. And it holds 5.7 liters, so a little bit more than that jug there, or well, that jug there is 5 liters, too, so a little bit more than one of those. That doesn't seem like very much, does it? Seems kind of low. It's a fairly big oil pan there, but I guess there's other bits and pieces and parts and stuff in here, too, right? That thing's... Wow. But I guess you got to think, you know, like, it's not filled up to here. That thing's down there. It's filled up to... Like, like down in here. So it's filled up this bottom here, and it's supposed to pump it, and then pump it through the engine. It's not like it just sits there and, like, splashes around. So, uh, anyways, I guess that's it for today. Better carry on. Thanks again for watching. You guys, of course, have a good day, and stay safe. And we'll catch you for uh, probably this one. I got a filter for it now. Um, crap, what I do with some older here, I think. I think these are the filters for it here. Hello. Everybody's come to see me. <laughs> yeah. I think that's it. Have it. Nope, that's not it. That's for the AR. Never mind. Should write on that. Okay. Oh, there it is. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> I know I got it here somewhere. I was just looking at it too. What did I do with it? I gotta find it. Oh no, that was it that I was thinking. The, the old um, coil was sitting on it. I thought, oh, that's the old coil box. But no, that's, that's it there. They give you a nice little handle. New gasket too, which is nice. wants to stay on there. They give you a nice little handle so when you get it all gooey and crap you can just pick it up and out and then I am willing to bet about one bazillion thousand million dollars if I had that much that there's no filter in this tractor. <laughs> I bet you I am willing to put money on her. That's for that one anyways, and then we'll figure out what oil we're going to use. But anyways, got to go. Thanks again for watching. Catch us all later, and you guys have a good day.